Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I'm going to talk to you about how to manage and structure your notes. Now these days we are all taking lots of notes. In the past we used to have notebooks everywhere, we'd be writing everything down. Now in the digital world we're using our notes app. Now it could be OneNote, it could be Evernote, it could be Apple Notes, it could be Notion. It doesn't really matter which note application you're using but we all generally are using some kind of notes application today. Now over the summer I was experimenting with Apple Notes ready for my Apple Productivity course and so I thought I would take the opportunity to play around with different structures to see what would work for me. In the end I came up with a system called GAPRA. Now GAPRA stands for Goals, Areas of Focus, Projects, Resources and Archive. Now I'll go into those in a little bit of in a few moments but before we do that I would just like to take this opportunity to thank this week's sponsor which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, productivity, freelancing and so much more. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and skill level and members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. For instance, the wonderful Thomas Frank's class on building a productivity system that brings out your best in one of is one of my all-time favorite classes. In this class, Thomas will take you through developing the right mindset as well as giving you templates to help you stay on track throughout the day. Now, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. And now it's time to hand you back to the video. So let's get into GAPRA. What is GAPRA all about? Well, GAPRA is designed to be hierarchical. And what I mean by that is there is a pyramid of, of priority when it comes to your tasks. So for example, right at the very bottom of the pyramid and the foundation of your life is your long-term goals. Now on top of that is your areas of focus. That's the eight areas that we all share are important to us. Things like family relationships, personal finances, health and fitness, our career or business, our lifestyle, life's purpose, personal developments, things like that. Then on top of that we have our core work, the work that you are employed to do. So for example, if you are employed as a salesperson, then your core work is selling. That's how you get paid. You get paid for selling. You're not being paid to do admin and write reports. Maybe proposals are part of that process, but writing a report and things like that are not. And you've got to be able to understand the differences between what you are actually paid to do and what in effect you are volunteering to do. Again, if you're a teacher, you're employed to teach. So when you are in the classroom teaching your students or when you are preparing your teaching materials, then you are working on your core work. On top of your core work is everything else. Now, everything else is where the overwhelm, the stress and all that stuff comes from because none of everything else is really your priority. It's usually the priority of somebody else. Now, it could be the priority of your boss. It could even be the priority of your company. But essentially, it's not your priority. You just get swept up in it. Now, if you're not structuring your life around your long-term goals, your areas of focus and your core work, you're going to allow everything else to take over your life. That's where the stress, overwhelm and all that horrible stuff comes from. So minimizing everything else is really important. 
But let's get back to the notes structure. So GAPRA starts at the very top with your long-term goals. These are the things that you're working towards in your life. Now, long-term goals are a subject on their own, but let's just give you a simple example. Imagine, well, I do, when I retire, which I don't really plan to do, but when I get to my 70s or 80s or 90s, I want to be still running marathons. I want to still be going to the gym. I want to live a very, very active life right to the very end. Now, to do that, I have to take care of my health and fitness today. So that's part of my long-term goals. It's there. Health and fitness is a very important part of my life. Equally, health and fitness is an area of focus too. So that's taking care of my daily life. I am managing my health and fitness, making sure I'm eating correctly, making sure I'm doing sufficient exercise each week. So all that is being driven from the bottom of my pyramid, if you like, and it's in my goals. It's also in my areas of focus. Now, the areas of focus, things like family and relationships. I have a list of all the things I would like to do with my wife, like we want to go to uh, a, a place where they have a, a speedway that I want to go and drive a fast car. My wife would like to do that too. Really, she does. And there are other things that we want to do as a family. I also, my personal finances, you know, I've got a, a note inside my areas of focus for all the, the three monthly meetings that I have with my financial advisor. You know, I keep all those notes together in that particular area. And then we have resources. Now, resources are for all those things that you may need to reference. So I have important links that I need, I regularly go to. I also have my suppliers where I buy my jeans, my t-shirts and all that sort of thing from. They're all in my resources section. I also keep collections of quotes that I like and I, you know, all that's in my resources. And then my archive is for all the things that I have done. I actually missed one there, which was projects. And obviously I am managing all my projects in my notes application. Like in Evernote, I have a stack of folders or notebooks related to all my projects. And I've been doing the test with Apple Notes and it works very well. So the idea behind GAPRA is it was inspired by Tiago Forte's PARA system. So if you're familiar with Tiago Forte's PARA system, PARA stands for Projects, Areas, Resources and Archive. And the great thing about that is, again, it's built essentially on a hierarchical structure, although I might disagree that projects come above areas of focus. I think when you get your life in balance, then that's more important than making sure your projects are moving forward. They should be moving forward anyway. But one of the problems I had with para is para is all encompassing. So you also use the para structure for your task manager and your file structure. And for those of you who like to have coherence across all your systems, then para is a great way to do it. But for me, I have a different way of managing my folders on my computer. My task manager is done by the time sector system. I want to know when I'm going to do a task. It doesn't matter about the project. All I need to know is when am I going to do the task? To, and my notes app is organized by those projects so I can see what projects are moving forward when I'm doing the review. And that's one of the most powerful things about the the GAPRA system. Because it's built on a hierarchical structure, every time I do my weekly planning session, I can go into my, my goals and check that I'm moving forward with those goals. Then I can also make sure, and I don't need to do this every week because my areas of focus are generally taking care of themselves week after week, but every three months or so, I do a review just to make sure that things are in balance. And then my projects, and my projects are driven based on obviously time sensitivity and what needs to be done right now. So that's the thinking behind GAPRA. Now last week I did a video showing you how to structure this in Apple Notes. Today I just wanted to give you a bit more of an outline on the thinking behind it so that you can understand how, if you wish to adopt GAPRA, that it is going to help you to stay focused on what, and essentially this is what it's all about, is staying focused on what's truly important to you. Your long-term goals, your areas of focus should always be your priority. 
your projects then come next and then you need a place to keep all your reference materials. So hopefully you've got some value from this. I just wanted to explain if you do want to adopt it, this is how to adopt it. If you want to learn a little bit more about how to structure this in Apple Notes, I'll put a link to that video in the show notes so you can see that. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.